at the end, spoiler alert, you know we spoil on the show. Big time. Um, but at the end, it turns out that this kind of scene that you've seen at the very beginning of the film before the credits even came up is actually set in the time after they've had their memories erased, but they've come back together and met again as if they never knew each other, and they just have this feeling they've been drawn together. Yep. Um, we find out, you know, they find out what they have done. They're upset about it, but then they kind of decide to give it another go. Yep. Which is a lovely and upbeat kind of ending. Not actually what was intended for this movie, I found out. That's interesting. The trivia says that there were times that where they were um, going to have it be that they had had this uh, procedure done many times. Wow. To delete each other from their minds. But I think that might have ruined the movie for me. So I'm really glad they went with this direction. I'm really glad they did too. Yeah. Because the whole reason that I like this movie is it ends with them giving it another shot. And that's what you wanted. Because you see during the film that they definitely have their arguments. Yeah. And they definitely have things that they need to work through. But they love each other. They love each other in the type of way that they will stay together and they will work it through. Yeah. And you believe that because they go through literally having someone burn out their brain to remove the memory of the other one. Yet that love is so strong that they are still able to go back and, and reconnect. You know, Joel, one of his last memories in his head is he sees Clementine in, in his memory, in his mind. And she says, you know, meet me in Montauk. And he has this sudden urge the following day after they've erased his mind to go to Montauk. Immediately. Yes. You know, they've just erased his memory. The people who did the procedure are just leaving his apartment. Yes. And that very morning, he decides... Like, just on the spur of the moment to go to Montauk, and they both happen to meet up there. Um, so, it just it's just this really beautiful thing about how these people love each other so much that it's almost more than, you know, conscious. It's like a subconscious thing, which I think is amazing. It's, well, and I also love how their relationship is illustrated by the seats on the train because you have these reds and you have these blues and you can tell that this is a relationship that burns very hot or very cold yeah just by you know what we see of their relationship well and they don't i mean i think that their main problem ends up being that they don't really communicate yeah very well like they have hidden resentments and things like that that they don't discuss mm -hmm. Um, Joel tends to be, I think, a kind of very closed up kind of person yeah. where he's not necessarily talking about all of his feelings. And Clementine is very, in my opinion, <laughs> oversensitive in that she kind of takes everything as an insult. So they kind of have this block where it's really difficult for them to progress. Mm -hmm. And like the hope is that this process where they are kind of forced at the end to share everything that they feel about each other and everything that bothers them about each other could kind of be the gateway to accepting each other and improving their relationship in the future. Completely agree. That's that's what's so funny is they go out of their way to just delete, you know what I mean? Just yeah. delete their memory of each other. And in the end, it turns out to be this amazing, immersive therapy session. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. I, I just, I don't know. It's, it's just really cool. And I just think there's so much being said with this movie. Mm -hmm. There's a lot about relationships, obviously. There's a lot about, like, almost grief. Like, the two of them are in a grief state, almost, after they've had this procedure done yeah um it's like they don't remember what they've lost but they've lost something so important to them and it's just left this huge hole which is kind of funny because 
uh, Lacuna is the name of the company that does the procedure. Mm -hmm. And Lacuna, I think the word actually means like a hollowed out space. Oh. And that's, you know, <laughs> Lacuna is thinking, oh, we're, we're making this hollowed out empty space that you can fill with new things. But all Clementine and Joel can feel is the emptiness of that space where the other one used to be. It's it's just so intricately done. Yes. 